Here at VCU, the two main principles of our strength and conditioning program are work capacity and movement capacity. Work capacity is the amount of work we can do in a given amount of time using the prescribed energy system. And movement capacity is how clean a movers we can be, especially on a single leg, because the game of basketball is played on one leg. So a strong core and strong single leg movements are very important to what we do. There's three things you're not gonna see on this video today. Those are back squats, Olympic lifts, and high volume abdominal work on the floor. And basically it's a risk versus reward philosophy. They're, they're tremendous exercises on their own. They have great benefits. But for basketball players with long femurs and exceptionally long spines, those exercises are not conducive to what we're trying to do at VCU. High volume abdominal work is also something you will not see on this video today. Uh, most of our core components are vertical core components because these muscles, commonly called the core, were designed to support the spinal column. They were not designed to crunch over and over again, in turn shortening the hip flexors and anteriorly rotating us. The program that you're going to see presented today is a program that all of my returners or veteran players do. As my freshmen arrive on campus, they are required to complete a 12-week course in just the fundamentals of strength and conditioning and learning how their body moves. Some of the things you're going to see in this program today are not recommended for a beginner to do, but we can progress beginners to the things you're going to see today.